Where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> oh, okay, they're going then. <laughs> we got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get her done. <laughs> All right. Good day, everyone. I just pulled over to do a quick intro here. I'm heading out this morning. It's 930, 17 degrees Celsius, and I'm heading to a cellar hole I want to check out. Yeah, I'm going to poke around there for a bit, and then I got a couple other spots I want to uh, hit as well. Hopefully get enough footage to put a video together, and uh, with any luck, we'll get a good dig out of it. So don't go anywhere. I'll get you right back up in about half an hour. <laughs> 20 minutes later. All right, so I am at a site here right now. This is not my intended destination, but I thought I'd stop here and check this one out along the way. Look at this old stonework. I do have my detector with me, so I want to do a little bit of detecting around here. And my shovel. We'll see if we can do a little digging. If I get anything, Interesting, I'll get you back up on. If not, we'll see you at the next site. All right, folks, I'm right along a shoreline. The shore is just right down through there. I think you can cut that whitish area there is water. I'm right on a ledge here. Cellar holes up over that way. And I got some shards down in here. Look at that. There's an embossed piece of glass, something store. That was probably a local drugstore. There's a bunch of shards here. I'm gonna dig around real quick here, see if anything comes out. All right, so in the previous clip, folks, I was just over there on the bank, and uh, I moved over this way. The whole side of this ledge has shards, plate shards, glass shards, stuff like that. A bit of metal debris. And it just so happened to be right in another Red ants nest here. I thought I was getting bit and I was. It's covered in them. So I dug around, I pulled this here out. It's a little rifle shell. There is lettering on it. So I'm gonna put that in my pocket and I'm gonna take it and see if it's 38 long, I think it says. I'm not sure what the other lettering is. Maybe we can get a date or something off it. And uh, we'll get a better idea of the date of this, the age of this site. I'm thinking mid-1800s. So I just pulled up this big mass of moss. And it's got well, like chicken wire or something all in it. And underneath I see there is something here. A few little things. Look at that. I think that's part of a hoe. Huh. Here's a barrel ring, see? Must have been a barrel of stuff here. Oh. Bottle. Bottle, bottle, bottle. It's a slicker. I might keep that just because it's from the site. The first time I located this site, I got one bottle out of it, and it was uh, Mexican Mustang oil, and it was way down over the other side of the knoll here. I was digging around. I didn't even realize there was stuff on this side. Huh. All right, I'll get you back up if anything else comes out. Talk about your rosehead square nails. Holy smokers, look at that thing. This one here came out, and I thought that was big. That's not a rosehead, though, but it's a nice straight one. Look at that thing. Part of a tool. Something that's broke, anyways, I'd say. There's that bottle, I got another round come out and then a shot, shotgun head stamp as well. Number 12, 
Q Max, maybe? Climax, number 12, US, it says. All right. Okay, so not a whole lot of luck here, but I did find another dumping area, and there could be more around through the woods here. There could be depressions in the ground that's right chock full of stuff, and just never know. But I'm getting wore out, and I haven't even hit my intended destination today, so I'm going to get back on the road. We'll see you at the next stop. There's Chippy. Every time he hears me come out, he's got to come out to... Look. <laughs> He's pretty friendly. So there's this little bottle here. It's just a slicker, but it's manganese glass. It's starting to turn. Can't see it too well on the camera, but it is. These two shells, DC and company, 38 long. If I'm reading the chart right, that'd be dated um, 1886 to 1927. And then the DC company changed to Dominion. They started stamping it Dominion. DC company stands for Dominion Cartridge Company. And as I mentioned in the video, here's the bottle, the first bottle I found when I found that site. Dug that up down on the opposite side there. It's a Lion Manufacturing Company, New York, Mexican Mustang Liniment. Nice blown in a mold with a tooled lip. Just thought I'd show you that one in case you haven't seen it before. Nice bottle, okay. So that's the first stop. Let's uh, get back on the road and uh, we'll get you back up on the second one. Here in a second. Okay, viewers. I'm now at my intended destination for today and by that I mean it's just a it's a cellar hole that I, I want to come back to and just check out to see if it's something I may be able to dig I may not get much digging done today if it is able to be dug but I want to check it out just the same see if it's something I can come back to the last time I was here which was a couple of years ago I was detecting around it I found a couple old pieces and lots of glass on a rock property line. But uh, nothing really complete, so everything was broke. I'm gonna get back, I'm gonna get in there. Uh, I'll get you back up in a bit. All right, so I'm at the cellar hole here now. Really not much to see. It's quite large though, and it's quite deep. The rocks are all pushed down in. I'm not really sure where to start. I'm just trying to get the layout of how this thing was formed. It looks like there might have been an entrance into the cellar over there in that corner. I suspect this is the back of the house over here. That uh, stone wall, rock wall runs down that way through the woods property line. So anyways, I'll poke around a little bit here. I don't have my detector with me at the moment. But this grass all looks like it's too long anyways to do any detecting in it, so. We'll see what pops out if anything does. Or if anything doesn't, I've got another spot I'm going to go check out as well. Okay, as you can see, I'm right down in the cellar hole here now. First signs of stuff just start to come out. There's that. And this here. Manganese glass. I just moved this big rock out of here, out of here, and it's just sort of beating around, beating away the uh, surface here. So we'll see if anything else comes out. Next item, some metal item, and it is an old hoe head. All right, so we may be onto something. There could be some stuff in here. Let's keep going. It's the only way we're going to find out. Okay, so I'm out behind the cellar hole now, towards the back of the property along by that stone property line just right over there lots of glass on it i just dug out this button and it does look like there's writing on it i can't make it out 
It's metallic. I think you can see the writing though on it. Maybe we'll see if I can get it cleaned up and then I'll get you back up on. Well, I'm up on the outside of the hole here now. and I've been digging here for 45 minutes. Nothing really coming out. Shards. It's been a nice, probably the Kuiper Gin bottle, I'm assuming. This thing was kind of interesting. It's hinged. Anybody got any ideas what that might be? Just a bunch of iron stuff. Some big spikes. All right. Well, it's a lot of hard work and I'm getting exhausted, but I still, I'm thinking I'll go for a drive, cool down, maybe have something to eat and then uh, hit another spot. So here's this button. I got it cleaned up a bit. It is a metal button. I believe it says Lighthouse Brand. It's a four hole button, uh, also known as an advertisement button. Now on the back side, there's also some lettering. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it though. It says PB Company up here, which stands for Patent Button Company. And down here, it says Patent It, December 9th, 1924. I believe these were for work clothes or overalls or underwear or something. But it was patented by Franklin R. Wright of Waterbury. Connecticut. So that's a nice little metal button, and uh, I'm learning lots on <laughs> on this one. All right, well, let's get uh, back on the road. We're going to head to a third site. Okay, viewers. Well, I'm out today, and I've been hitting cellar holes, checking them out, and seeing if I can find anything real quick around them. More or less just an exploring video. You know, I'm at a third spot here now, and I know there's a big cellar hole up and through there. But I'm going to be digging around a little bit on this bank here as well. And one thing I'm going to do today is take this that uh, I showed in a recent video. Because somebody might want that. Take the top off it or whatever if they need one to repair. I might just put it in my... Uh, bottle stash so i'm definitely going to take this today because it's a rare ginger beer and uh i don't know it just might come in handy for something otherwise i'm just going to dig around here for a bit and then i'm going to go check out that cellar hole and see if that's worth digging around in well as i mentioned earlier there's a cellar hole here and currently i'm down inside of it <clears throat> But the bushes are so thick, it's near impossible to do anything down here with any effectiveness. I can't even swing the shovel. <laughs> kind of scraping away there, underneath there, but nothing's really coming out. I don't know how old this hole is. I'd call it more like a foundation, but it's rather than a cellar hole. It's kind of mixed with a mortar and rocks, so that would indicate... You know, probably, I don't know when they started using mortar, but probably around the turn of the century. Late 1800s. Anyways, I'll see if I can get over in there and we pick around a bit. If not, I'm out of here. Alright, so I was just right over there in the previous clip. I made my way over to here and I just discovered this is extremely deep. Look at this hole. That's another... Two and a half, three feet down to the bottom there. This is a mound of uh, wooden stuff here. I'm assuming from when the house must have collapsed or burnt. So everything I'm walking on, this isn't actually the ground. It's debris, house debris. Frig, I'd never... That'd be a while, wouldn't I, digging that down to the bottom? Holy jumpins. Yeah, I'd have my work cut out for me. Well, once again, folks, no luck at this site. Loads of old shards, but nothing complete. So I'm gonna get out of here and head to another site. And it might be the last one for today. I'm not sure which clips I'm gonna use from today. 
or what order they might be in but I'm just gonna try to get a bunch see you on the next one 11 minutes later well I'm here at another old cellar hole weird shaped one kind of like a, a Z shape comes over and down and over this way check this plate out I just crashed up New Brunswick 1931 license plate No color to it, but that's an oldie. 